What's up everybody? Good afternoon. It's a warm afternoon here in sunny Vacaville and I'm starting to sound like a TV reporter. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Um, so today I have a special guest coming today. When you guys see my garage like this with my car off to one side, it's safe to bet that there's another project coming on. Um, that being said, my special guest today is Lex King. I don't know if you guys know who Lex King is, but if you watch Mike Mike videos and you've been to Sonoma Raceway, I tell a nigga don't dick ride, don't blink ride, leave it to the double thick thighs, twin sisters, drop it down and wobble wobble up, mommy boot it up, she get down and go. Yeah, that guy. That's exactly who he is. Um, he's on his way right now. He's bringing his RX-8 um, for a transmission job, much like the Mike Mike transmission job, only his isn't blown up into 40 pieces like Mike's was. So anyway, he's on his way right now. We're waiting for him to show up with his trailer and we're gonna push this inside. So I'm gonna leave it at that and we will wait till he gets here. Look at this man never been here before and he's one of the few smart ones that's actually pulled around to make it easy for the car to unload. You know what? I applaud you, Lex. Whoo, look at that. Hey. Oh yeah. I was just saying, man, you're like one of the few smart ones that's actually pulled around to pull it in this way. Man, What's up, man? man? How are you I'm, doing? I'm good, I'm good. I'm used to getting stuck in places. So I, <laughs> I survey it first and I was like, nah, we gonna make it turn. Man, well, I appreciate it. And it's easy for you too. Hell yeah. Damn, look at this thing. This one looks like we haven't driven it in like a year and a half. <laughs> um, well, let's uh, let's get it unloaded. Okay, so as you can see, now Lex has left, and we are left with the RX-8. This thing is clean. I mean, it has a little bit of sun damage because he said it's been sitting out, but if you look and see, it's a pretty aggressive looking car. And I'm pretty stoked to be able to get this thing driving again because I wanna go for a ride. And Lex was saying that it's probably not the fastest car, but I heard that they're really good for grip and uh, pretty easy to work on. So this is his new transmission. As you can see, he said it's pretty light though, I guess. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. I'll probably be able to get it in myself. So, um, I mean without a jack. So anyway, um, I think for now, now that he's gone, I don't know if I'm gonna start it right now, put it up on jack stands. Um, I'm gonna let the car cool down because he did have to have it running to get it in here. And then I guess these cars flood if you don't um, let them keep running. So it was idling for quite a bit. So it's probably pretty hot under there. and. Judging from today, about 90 degrees out here, it's hot out here too. So um, I'm gonna let that cool down, but first things first, I need to get this disgusting transmission cleaned up a little bit. After I finish this car, Lex said it's gonna go over to um, his boy's shop and get it rewrapped. So the outside is gonna be looking beautiful. So I want to make sure that everything that I do and all the work that I do underneath is just as beautiful. So that being said, let's get this thing cleaned up. Thank you. 
Okay, as you can see, now the transmission is a whole lot cleaner. I don't know if the camera is really picking up how much dirt came off of it, but that's not really the point. The reason why I take the time to make sure that everything's clean, regardless of how it comes out, is I just take pride in my work. So as anybody should who's join, going to do something, you give it 100% or not at all, right? Um, so let me catch my breath. <sighs> Sorry, I was using that little toothbrush thing to clean all the uh, crevices and stuff out. But um, yeah, anyway, I make sure that everything's nice and clean so that way I know that it went in better than when I got it. Um, and plus, with clean parts, then you know if there's leaks um, and it looks better. So just because you don't see it underneath the car doesn't mean it doesn't need to be in good shape, be taken care of and clean. So um, yeah, anyway. It's all done, ready to go. Um, I think that's probably gonna do it for today's vlog. I'm gonna start a whole nother vlog when I actually start tearing this apart and changing it. So um, that will probably be tomorrow. So um, anyway, yeah, introduction to Lexus car, RX-8, what's to come, and uh, yeah, so if you like the content, ring the notification bell so that way you can stay updated on all of my projects, not just car related, but also bike related. You see that pretty thing back there? Yeah, and Lex rides, so we're trying to get some rides in also. So um, anyway, thanks for the support. Thanks for the love. Thanks for sharing. And uh, I will see you tomorrow.